Wow. What a year. 2020 was a whirlwind. I don't know if you all remember, but the Pope actually slapped a lady in 2020. It was like January 1. And maybe if you've forgotten, there's this little thing called the coronavirus that has put a pause on literally everything. You have my wedding, for example, or trips to the beach, or flights to see family, and Christmas was crazy as well. So it's hard to keep positive in this crazy, crazy time, but uh, with all the chaos floating around, I want to throw some positivity out there, pat myself on the back a little bit, and really give some inspiration for you all um, for having such an amazing year and pushing through such a hard year. So this is definitely a big thanks to all of you for making this channel possible. Without you all watching my videos, none of this would be possible. And if you didn't know, I'm Walters954 from SalesforceMentor.com and this is my 2020 Salesforce review. If you're interested in learning about Salesforce administration, development, consulting, literally anything, this is the right channel for you. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss any of my videos. So 2020 for me, a lot of things got kicked off. Uh, lots of pet projects got finally done. Things I've wanted to get done since forever, you know, concepts when you're just starting out in Salesforce. So the biggest one, salesforcementor.com, is finally launched. This is my website, blog, portfolio, whatever you want to call it, really. It's where I throw my Salesforce content that is not videos. Um, so. If you haven't checked it out, salesforcementor.com is up and running successfully. I've tried a couple times before with some failures, so big shout out to Squarespace. They are not a sponsor, but they probably should be one because I actually like their platform and it worked out pretty well for setting my site up. And I'm averaging about like 2,000 plus visitors a month which is insane. I would have never expected that kind of traffic and that really goes out to you all for making this possible. Without salesforcementor.com, you could not have Daily Force. So if you're not already signed up and you don't know what Daily Force is, it is my daily emailing practice exam service. So Daily Force, basically you get an email sent to your inbox of Salesforce mock exam questions really cool. It's not a unique idea, but something that I've adapted for the Salesforce ecosystem and people are loving it. Daily Force has about 350 Salesforce professionals that have been kind of helping out with this emailing service and it's been really great and insane to uh, see this grow over the year. Big shout out to my five whole patrons out there. So thank you all so much. And Patreon is actually something that I started this year, which is really cool. If you didn't know, it can get a little pricey to have a website, emailing service, tech service, all these other things floating around here. Um, and this is where Patreon comes in. It really helps out with supplementing you know additional income you all get perks and i get a little extra dough to afford things like equipment upgrades or new video editing software so it's really cool there now let's get down to work as of december 2020 at victorium solutions my consulting firm that i work at is officially the longest company that i've worked at coming in at 1.5 years i know a huge milestone right wow a year and a half crazy no but in all seriousness normally i get bored at different companies around the one year mark so this is truly a company that uh, has been able to challenge me and keep me engaged and keep me busy and i'm really thankful for them and i hope to continue to double triple quadruple that milestone there i'm having a great time and since we're on the topic of them keeping me busy I actually got six certifications this year. So that's Field Service Lightning, B2B Developer, MuleSoft, Data Architecture and Management Designer, Sharing and Visibility, and that rounds it out, I guess I need to wiggle these, rounds it out with Application Architect, which was a huge milestone. One of my goals for 2020 was actually achieved. And I actually passed the JavaScript Developer 1 exam in 2020 but i still need to get the super badge some of you may remember uh that javascript failure video that i released so i took it again and i actually passed it and this is something that i want to remind you all about especially moving into 2021 it's not really about the failures it's about continuing to never give up and continuing to learn push through 
all of the struggles that you're going through so that you can achieve your goals. And that's definitely what I've done with the JavaScript developer one exam and just reminding, you know, everybody to stay humble in their process and their pursuit of, you know, professionalism and their goals that they're trying to achieve. It's okay to fail as long as you don't give up and continue to pursue uh, what you want to do. So those are some highlights. Now let's take a look at 2021. So I don't really set resolutions, but I do set some goals. So like in 2020, it was to become an application architect for 2021. Let's take a look at some of those things that I want to get done. The first thing to kick it off is to continue to release video content. I want to do one video a week and be very consistent with that. And uh, especially on my paid courses too, which are floating out there, the ultimate guide to flows and formula fields. Uh, I want to continue to bolster those and actually complete them because, you know, I've been adding to them little by little, but the finish line is around the corner with those and uh, I want to get those done accompanying those videos that I release once a week. I also want to do a blog post, you know, launching Salesforce mentor. I was really diligent about, you know, keeping up with my blog posts. Now I've become a little bit lax since we're in the holiday season and I want to pick that back up doing one video a week. And on the certification front, I want to become a system architect. So I need, I think, three certifications for that one, and I'll get system architect. So I'm really interested in going to be looking at those certs that I'm missing and try to uh, grab system architect along with a few other certs that are out there as well. I know with the help of all of you, this will be possible. You know, you all are sharing my videos, liking my stuff and giving me ways of improving the stuff that I'm putting out. So I am really thankful. And I don't think you, you know, you fully, if you've made it this far, I don't think you fully understand, but I'm really talking to you, you know, out there listening and hearing me right now, you know, thank you for accompanying me on this weird journey through Salesforce and understanding uh, parts of my life. And I'm hoping that, um, you know, you all are able to learn from me. I'm learning a ton by helping you all. And in some way, shape or form, I'm hope I hope that some of the, you know, words and information that I'm sharing with you uh, is really helping out. So thank you all for a great 2020. And I hope it continues on through 2021. So that's about it. I'm Walters954, and remember, I believe in you.